Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on Gen AI for Data Analytics at Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to explore how generative AI is changing the way we do data analytics. Traditionally, data analysts had to rely on manual methods like writing SQL queries, cleaning data row by row, and building charts step by step. That takes time, effort, and technical know-how. But with generative AI, the game has completely changed. Instead of memorizing commands or writing complex code, you can simply ask the question in plain English like, what was the sales growth in the last quarter compared to quarter one? And if you give the relevant data to the Gen AI app, the AI will generate the code, run it, and even explain the results. So guys, watch this video till the end if you want to know more about it. Here's the agenda of our today's session. First, we are going to discuss why Gen AI matters in data analytics. Then, we are going to discuss about core applications of Gen AI in data analytics. Finally, we are going to end up with a hands-on tutorial. Now, before we move on, just a quick info, guys. Simply Learn has got Data Analyst Master's Program. You can earn a recognized Data Analyst certification to boost your career. You'll get hands-on experience with the latest tools, and you can work on real-world projects. You will also earn IBM certificates and benefit from master classes by IBM experts. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. Now, here's a short quiz to test your knowledge. The question is, what can Gen AI do during data cleaning stage? Your options are build new database from scratch, automatically detect and handle missing or duplicate values, or ensure data is always unbiased, or finally, guarantee real-time updates. Mention your answers in the comment section below. Now, before we get started, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Now, before we bring generative AI into the picture, let's think about how data analytics is usually done. Traditionally, if you wanted to know how sales changed from one quarter to another, you would need to open your database, then write a SQL query or some Pandas code, then generate a chart in Excel or Power BI, and then finally, interpret the result by yourself. That's a lot of manual work and it requires strong technical skill. Now imagine you don't have to do all that. Instead, you just ask a simple question in English. What was the sales growth in quarter two compared to quarter one? A generative AI system will write the SQL or Python code for you. And then it is going to run it against the data. And also, it is going to show you the percentage change and even it can give you a short explanation. This means that somewhat analytics have become conversational, automated and predictive. You talk to your data the way you talk to a colleague. Now you'd be wondering, why does this matter for data analysts? Because it saves time, reduces technical barriers and lets you focus on understanding and acting on insights instead of struggling with the mechanics of coding. Gen AI is not here to replace analysts, but to act as a co-pilot, speeding up the queries, cleaning data, building visualizations, and even suggesting forecast. Now, there are some of the core applications of Gen AI in data analytics. The first one is natural language to insights. So guys, as you can see all over here, that traditionally, if you wanted to get an answer from a data, you had to write your own SQL queries or Python code. That means only trained data analysts could do it. But with Gen AI, anyone, even a marketing manager or HR professional can simply type a question in plain English. For example, show me a chart of customer churn read by region. And the AI is going to understand the request and write the code in the background. Run it against the data and gives you the chart. Now, you can imagine how making analytics from the given data has become so much easier even when you don't know coding. Next one, if you could see, you are going to get automated data storytelling. Numbers on the charts are very useful, but they don't always tell the full story. Gen AI goes a step further. It can explain numbers in words. For example, instead of just showing a revenue chart, Gen AI can automatically write revenue increase 12% in APAC, mainly due to search in mobile app users. So you can see how it is saving time for analysts and also it is helping non-technical people. Third one is predictive and prescriptive analytics. Most traditional analytics tools 
tell us what has already happened. But Gen AI can look at patterns in the data and help predict what might happen next. For example, you can ask something like this, like based on the current trends, which products are likely to underperform in the next quarter. Gen AI can not only make the prediction, but also suggest what actions to take to increase the promotion in a particular region. Next is data cleaning and preparation. Every analyst knows the hardest part of analytics is not the charts. It's cleaning messy data. And when the messy data has missing values or spelling mistakes or duplicates, then it becomes pretty harder. But Gen AI can automatically suggest cleaning steps, even generate the code to fix the data set. For example, guys, if customer data has duplicate entries, Gen AI can detect and remove them if revenue numbers are missing and it can fill them based on the relative values. This saves hours of manual effort. And finally, you can get visualizations on demand. In traditional BI tools, you drag and draw fields, adjust filters, and then format charts. This can take a lot of clicks, but with Gen AI, you can just ask, create a heat map of sales by product category and region, and boom, you are going to get it very much easily. The AI is instantly going to generate a professional looking chart or even a full dashboard. This makes data visualization faster, easier, and more flexible. So guys, I hope so. You would have got a brief idea regarding the application of Gen AI in data analytics. Now, let us begin to the next part, that is the hands-on tutorial. So guys, in most of the real case scenario, you are going to have a pre-prepared data. It may be structured, semi-structured, or unstructured. But for this tutorial, we are going to create a random data for the product based on the given region and also the date and time. Also, if you want to try this simulation to generate a random data based on the given dates, regions, and the products. So you're going to get a code something like this. Now let us dive deep into this given tutorial and try to understand what are the libraries used in this given code. You can see it has used pandas, numpy, and matplotlib. And also guys, you can see it is trying to create the data with the help of numpy. So you can see there are dates, regions, and products. Then there is a for loop and it is trying to populate this given variable rows. So you can see with date, region, products, unit sold, price, and revenue. And finally, you are storing this in the data frame. Now let us try to run this code. You can see our given data has been created. Now let us move to the next step and try to do some analytics. Now guys, let us give a prompt to chat GPT, something like this, saying that I have pandas data frame named sales with column date and region and also with products, units sold, price and revenue. Try to give a brief uh, idea about what data you have to chat GPT and then say write simple pandas code to answer what is the average revenue per region or return a small table with column region and average revenue sorted from highest to lowest. Let us try to hit the button and let's see. Now you can see all over here we have got a code. So we can just copy this and try to paste on our collab. So now let us try to run this and you can see we have got the given output with the region and the average revenue like west, south, north, east and all those things. Let us move to the next analytics part. But before that, I would like to ask you some questions. Now, here's a little part I want you to try. You can also ask all over here that show the total revenue by product and which they had the highest revenue overall and see Gen AI is easily going to give you. So it, it's mostly, it's becoming a tool based and uh, but with the complexity of the data, things can become a little bit complex. But since we have the Gen AI, now your work will become very much easier. So do try this guys and mention in the comment section below how many of you have got the right result. Now, as we all know that real data is actually very messy. So guys, I have added some impurities in the given data. You can see I have made some missing values, I have made some duplicate rows, and I have also some lowercase and spaces. So that makes a pretty interesting how Gen AI is going to deal with this scenario. Let us 
try to hit the run button and first try to insert all those things and you can see the data has been added. Now let us try to do some analysis. Now let's say in a given scenarios, first you need to understand your data. Where are the missing values and what are the issues in your given data? And then you can give prompt something like this. Say I have pandas data frame messy like before, please write a simple readable code and trim spaces and fix regions like title case, drop the duplicate rows and fill the missing revenue with unit source. And make sure your date is in proper date type and then return the clean data frame named clean. Now let us give another prompt to generate a chart with the help of Gen AI. Basically I'm using chat GPT all over here and the model is 5. So you can write a prompt something like this, write a simple matplotlib code to plot a bar chart of the top 5 products by total revenue from the data frame, clean and also add a title and label the axis. So clean is our data frame, let's click enter. You can see GPT has easily given us the code. Just copy this, go to the terminal and just paste the given code and just click on enter. Now you can easily see guys that we have got a very amazing visualization. You can see there is total revenue, there is top 5 products by total revenue and you can see this is watch, laptop, phone, headphones. So in this simulation you can see how easily you can generate charts. Now let us move to the next part. In this part we are going to do something very much interesting. So let us say I ask the GPT something like this. We'll keep the forecasting simple, we will use total revenue by month, then use a three month average to guess the next one. So you can type a prompt something like this, that we want forecasting, we will use total revenue by month, then use a three month average to guess the next one. Just click enter after that. And you can see it is going to give you the code which is going to generate the forecasting. So you can see, it has given the first step calculate the total revenue by month then calculating the three month moving average and finally it has done the forecasting of the next month. Now let us copy this given code and paste on the Google Colab. So we have copied our given code. Let's try to run it and you can see just in few seconds we have got the output and it has generated the forecasting of our given product. So you can see from this graph guys, this is the revenue y axis and on the x axis we have the actual revenue and the dashed lines are 3 month average. Now you can see from all over here, we have the given years like 2024, first month, the third month, fifth month, seventh month, ninth month and eleventh. And it is creating the monthly revenue versus 3 month. So that is amazing analysis and we have just got to do it in few seconds by writing the prompt. Now, you would be also thinking about the same thing which I am thinking like Gen AI is definitely going to make a lot of things easier in the domain of data analytics. So that was all for today's session guys. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's tutorial on generative AI for data analytics. And guys, if you like these kind of videos, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any update from us.